I'm located just below Stagumba Station on the West Somerset Railway. I'm tempted to walk along here to a different viewpoint to see the trains, just to make something a bit different. Last time I attempted to walk along here, we had to turn back because it was too muddy. After this recent spell of hot weather, I don't think there'll be a problem today. Whew, it's more whether I, I run out of puff with my present ailment. Anyway, we'll go along and see what I can do. Hmm. Signs of uh, it being damp here not all that long ago. So the water came here and then drained through down there into a river. Yeah. Anyway, better press on. I don't want to get to the viewpoint after the train has passed. I think on the right is a bridge under the railway. Yes, that's right. Yeah. I've got a very brief shot of the train there, so let's press on a bit further. There must be some farm machinery, I think, making that noise in the background. There then. Hope this doesn't say no entry. Don't remember a gate across here before. What's it say? Yeah, it looks as if you're allowed through. Hmm. This wasn't here last time I was. Well, the railway is, uh, oh gosh, I wonder if I've walked too far <laughs> in my present uh, medical problems. You had a breath and I've walked not very far. Uh, and with the railway, it's running along the top of this field, but uh, for other facts you can see less of it than you used to be able to. Hmm. Will this, will this get me a decent shot or not? Press on a bit further. Hmm, I'm sure I've taken footage up here before, but it's a waste of time today. It's just too overgrown. It's a balance with what will I see down here apart from some wild animals. Not really wild ones, but uh, I wonder how many walkers do you see coming along here. Not many by what he says. There's a stile down here. Oops, another wild animal. Hello, sheepses. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. Bye. gates ahead. Oh, there's a railway up there, but the view is very near the railway lines now. Hmm, that's a shame. A 
another bridge going under the railway there. Another hurdle to overcome here. Oh, this this uh, gate is just too hard to open. I have to attempt to get over here, I suppose. Oh, hmm. There. That's quite, quite a high one. And this side of it's broken anyway. Ooh, I think I'm getting too old for this, this game now. Might result in no, no footage this time. <laughs> Apart from a brief glance up there, where's the time? 10 minutes until we expect to see the train. Well, I'd hope to see the train begin to wonder now whether we will. Uh, all the gates, hope this one happens easier. Not allowed to take horses along here. Let's see if this is easier to open. Looks better. Oh yeah, that's a lot easier. <laughs> Good. Water flowing down there. Because if I hadn't walked here before in the past, I wouldn't have believed that you could get anywhere this way but you used to be able to certainly some cows in the field somewhere getting darker and darker down here hmm oh no what the chances are of actually seeing a train now. Oh, there's light at the end of this tunnel. I might have to call this video a walk in the countryside rather than <laughs> Anything to do with trains. Gosh, even more gates. Hmm. I wish we could get somewhere where I could feel confident I could see the railway lines. Should be over on our right. This gate looks easier to open. Yeah, I wish they were all like that. Well, there's a... Can I get up through there? Because that is the railway line up there. Can't see much of it though. No. No, you're not supposed to go through there really. It's five minutes till the train is due. The path unfortunately seems to be going further away from it. I don't think I can get through there really. Not legally. Might be getting to some more open country side here. Yeah, that's good. Oh, nice looking, uh, is that roses over there? Very nice. 
Oh, I saw dogs walking. Walking among walkers. More than one. <laughs> they got some energy. Bye. <laughs> now I think there's an, a road here which goes under the railway. More dogs down there. Yeah, more dogs down there. Right, I think this will be the last place I've got any chance of seeing a train, so let's see what the view is like. Should be along any moment anyway. Yeah, I think <laughs> I can sell myself to saying this is the best view I'm likely to get. Well, I still see that. I remember that Honda CRV down there with the OPE 1L registration number because when we came to live in this part of the world we had a Honda CRV and we used to see that one running around. They've owned that one there for a long time. Yard Farm. Should hear the train when it comes. Just wait and see what we can see of it. Yeah, I think you need permission before you can go up there. So I'll stay down here and I should hear it coming. It's by Yard Farm. Neighbourhood Watch site. It's out to be a railway watch today, only a brief one. That's the sign pointed where I've come from, but you can't read anything on it now. I think I hear the sounds of it now. Wasn't a bad view in the end. That was coming from Bial. The next train in about uh, 20 minutes should come in the direction that that's just heading to from Wilton. Wilton. This view is quite a suitable one to incorporate on a model railway, really, because the Oh, there's a whistle in, the, whistle in the distance because the roadway here does a sharp left turn under the bridge and disappears into <laughs> nowhere that you can see so that's very useful on the model railway. Oh, what are those sounds? They're not train sounds, might be a tractor somewhere. Should hear the next train. It's away from Wellington for much longer. Mm, some road traffic. 
for delivery. <laughs> well, not really. Watch it. <laughs> what are you looking for? That's yard farm. Yeah. Delivery. <laughs> doorbell but don't seem to be any response at the moment that's awkward isn't it having discovered where it is and uh, <laughs> nobody home might be ringing their phone number now <laughs> that's their cars there so you could leave something right in front of their car perhaps <laughs> oh they're ringing you are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There are dogs in the back garden there, I just walked down this way. I'm waiting to film a train that's coming. <laughs> How far have you come to find a remote spot like this? Have you come far? All oh, right, yeah. I told them I like the back, back garden there. Maybe I'll leave it safer there. Yeah, the dogs have seen him coming. <laughs> they certainly detect any strangers about. Uh, I think he's decided not to leave it anywhere here. Because his company, he gets charged if uh, he goes missing. <laughs> but I think I hear the sounds of a approaching train. He's turning and going back. Well, if the owners of Yard Farm see this video, you missed your delivery today. Oh, he's parking up for a bit. Now, where's that train? He's ringing perhaps HQ. But strangely, I think I hear the sound of rain. <laughs> Yes, it's raining now, and well, that's brilliant. I haven't got a coat. That's oh, not been forecast either. It's going to be another hot, sunny day. Ah! I can hear the train approaching. To steam anyway, that's good because it could have been a diesel almost uh, this time of the rotor. Well, I think I'd better find some shelter for a few minutes under the road bridge. There's a sharp bend here. And I 
winter tree coverage here anyway. Someone approaching too. Is it on a horse? I'm not sure. Maybe, yeah. Probably was on one more go at it, I think. It's a horse <laughs> ridden, ridden, I was going to say, yeah, driven, ridden. Hello, you don't know the uh, people who live in Yard Farm, do you? Do you know the people who live in Yard Farm? No. Oh, it's a poor chap's trying to make a delivery and there's nobody in apparently. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> okay, I don't either. I don't live here. No. She doesn't know them either. <laughs> Bye. Oh, what a bit of other action besides the trains. Yeah, I think he's away now. <sighs> right, well, I better make my way back the way I came. Oh, the rain wasn't very... Long, that's good. Didn't intend to record the way back, but I just wondered <laughs> what the dog's reaction would be again. <laughs> yeah, they're still there. But it does not very inviting, does it, this pathway? So dark in there. Now we're going back to where the sheep were. Still like to stand in the trackway here. Let's see how they react to me this time. Oh, they're all charging away. Once seen, <laughs> that'll be enough. <laughs> right, they're not so inquisitive because they've seen me before. Just make sure to get away from close contact. <laughs> anyway, I don't think I've got too much further to go. Nice to be in a bit of open countryside. Sorry about the puffing. This was as well a fitting for a steam train enthusiast to puff a bit. I can remember using this as a backdrop for some still photographs once upon a time. It's quite picturesque. I think the hanging vines were much more plentiful than when I did it. Right, getting back near the beginning of my walk. Yeah, I'm lucky. I shall sure find back be just waiting on the main road. I can call it a main road on the roadside over here. If not, I shall have to walk around to the station where she's possibly enjoying a nice cup of coffee. Steve to get up this hill. No sign of our little coping, so hopefully it'll be parked up here by the station. I 
I'll do that the rain didn't come to anything. Oh, I have to rest in a minute. another open top car that belongs to <laughs> we're gonna say a Rami volunteer I think he <coughs> no longer volunteers here but he also owns that nice house up there that used to be the station masters that was our little car then. probably right up by the station oh, I should go to then no, it's no longer there. Oh, there it is, tucked in on the right. Good. Hello. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Did you have rain? We had plenty of rain here. A little bit. Oh, yeah, right, yes, I see. Oh, a minute or so. Oh. <laughs> How's it going, alright? Yeah, bit of a long track, mind. Yeah, much, much more of a ground than it used to be. Did you? Hmm? How did you get in there? <laughs> oh, there you are. Just follow the cattle. <laughs> I think I'm going to sit down over here a minute. All oh, right. Hey, look at your trousers. What? Oh, what's that green? Oh, it's only uh, oh, it's on. vegetation or something. Dear, oh dear. Has parked at Stagumba Station here. There's a, a Ford Focus in front of us. I mean, I think that belongs to Shaw. It's got the bottom of our number plate, it says. Hang out with the first, where I know she volunteers oh, yeah. and works on. <laughs> so, homeward bound now. Back the way we came is the easiest way, I think. I prefer that way anyway. Yeah, well, it's straight up for the for the main road if you want, up to you. Yeah, there's a classic here, I don't know who that belongs to. What we do. Who's is it? The man who lives in the house up the hill here. Who's that? Nice looking car, too. Oh, it, that probably got wet, wet when it rained then. Is it easier to go or go back with when you came? I might, like, I might go in the shop anyway and get some tomatoes. It's cool when you're in it now. Yeah, Val was talking to someone at the station about who used to live in this house here. Yeah, this one. Oh, is this a railway house? Yeah, and that used, used to be, to be a, the a pub. In. But Val actually knew the people who lived there, but didn't realise they, they ever lived there at one time. <laughs> okay, how far will we get before we have to reverse the game? Oh, I don't know. A shop can exist, it's such a remote place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said there were a lot of online trading. Right 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 so yeah, with your, your bin collector now. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to get by there for a few minutes. So, with a quick look at the uh, signpost, we'll end this video here. <laughs>